I call the regular meeting of the Millican Board of Trustees for April 12th, 2023 to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's all right. Okay. Will the town clerk please call roll? Trustee Beckman. Here. Trustee Dean. Here. Trustee Lane. Here. Trustee Meisner. Yeah, here. Trustee Wakeman. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich. Here. Mayor Austin. Here. Thank you. Does anyone have any additions or deletions to the agenda? Hearing none, I'll take a motion. I move we approve the agenda as presented. I second. Town Clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Dean? Yes. Trustee Lane? Yes. Trustee Meisner? Yes. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Beckman? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Next on our agenda, we have Chief Garcia from the Millican Police Department with an award presentation. Chief Garcia. Thank you, Mayor, members of the board. On March 15, 2023, at approximately 8.30 p.m., Millican police officers were dispatched to a report of a 26-year-old male who was unresponsive and not breathing. Officer Martin was the first officer on scene, and after assessing the victim, her training immediately kicked in. She administered a dose of Narcan, then proceeded to perform CPR on the male for approximately five to 10 minutes straight until she was, she was relieved by medical personnel. It was later determined that the male survived and was released from the hospital the following day. <clears throat> Today, we would like to publicly recognize Officer Martin with the Millican Police Department's Life Saving Award. The Life Saving Award is awarded to officers who perform life saving acts under extra extraordinary circumstances. Officer Martin's quick action, quick actions in administering Narcan and immediately starting CPR directly contributed to the individual's life, saving the individual's life. Our duty as officers of the Millican Police Department is to serve and protect the citizens of Millican. And on, on that day, Officer Martin did just that. She remained composed, professional, and exhibited good leadership and went above and beyond in saving a human life. So with that being said, Officer Martin, if you would like to come up, we'd like to present you with the Millican Police Department's Life Saving Award. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Next, do we have any citizens comments that anybody would like to make? No citizens comments? We'll move on. Is there any discussion or comments on the minutes of March 22nd, 2023 that were sent out as corrected? <clears throat> Hearing none, I'll take a motion. I move we approve uh, <laughs> the minutes for uh, uh, Wednesday, no, March 22nd, 2023, as corrected. A second. We're just eager beavers to Town clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Lane. Yes. Trustee Meisner. Yes. Trustee Wakeman. Yes. Trustee Beckman. Yes. Trustee Dean? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Next up uh, this is the town administrator's report. Administrator Powell? Yes, thank you, Mayor. So we're trying to get the town parks cleaned up um, now while we have time. So the parks department, I believe, started on a lot of these uh, today. 
Um, in the meantime, though, they're finishing up crack ceiling around town, um, and they've also repaired the fence that was in pretty bad shape along Alice Avenue on the west side. So that will be finished, I believe. I don't know if we've stained it yet, but the boards are it stained. No, thank you. Um, <clears throat> the pet way stations, if you remember Peyton that came to present um, to the board, um, have been installed at the Mad Russian, so that's completed. Um, I also spoke with Bob Byersdorf with Allo last week, and they are putting together a phase one and two, which includes the Mad Russian subdivision. Um, combined build for final approval. Um, they are hoping to have a go decision for Milliken in the next couple of weeks. So I'll keep you apprised of that. Um, also, I would like to congratulate uh, John Rabus and Carrie Reinberger on a Community Development Block Grant Award um, of $154,000. And this award um, was for the CDBG program that's run through Weld County. Um, this grant will fund ADA ramp upgrades and replacements in the historic sections of Milliken. So um, congratulations to both of you on, on great work. And I did a good presentation um, at the, uh, for the advisory group that day too. Um, Comcast has presented us with a franchise agreement, which we will bring to the board once it's been uh, reviewed by our town attorney. So. Um, after all the years of calling Comcast, um, now they're calling us. So um, Mead just re approved theirs. Um, I believe Berthid is doing the same thing and Johnstown will be shortly. So okay. anyway, so we'll have a couple of different services for town, which will be nice. Nice. Any questions for the town administrator? What, what's Comcast's service plan proposal? Um, you know, I would have to, it, it's been a while since we spoke to them. Um, so I couldn't get back to you with what they uh, have included in their franchise agreement um, as to what type of plan they're uh, wanting to provide us with, so. Okay, thank you. Yeah. It would be better than what the current services we receive, I'm sure, but, um, and I believe they would also include the Mad Russian subdivision. Well, I guess that was my biggest question, was that going to be included? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pushing to make sure that people realize Mad Russian is, is a part of this community. And I mean, our difficult part is the, the long stretch between the end of the housing development there and Highway 60. So, um, but, are they going to have the uh, sports channels for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's going a little bit far. But I'm nice try. Thought I'd, I'd ask. <laughs> you know, everything comes with a cost. So I'm sure if you want to pay enough for them, they'll have them uh, for they, you. I seem to be like they do not provide it in Denver. No. 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 I don't, uh, I don't know. Any, so. any other questions for the administrator? I do the. Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. You were speaking. Okay. Oh, it's okay. All right. Um, do they have to dig too, like the other service? Sure. To get the fiber, I mean, to do what they want. Mm -hmm. So they don't share, they don't have an agreement where one does all the work and they share. <coughs> they could talk to one another and install. Um, you know, when um, I was very honest with Allo uh, at the last meeting, <coughs> And I told him, I said, I just want you to be aware that Comcast is also wanting to uh, come into town and, and would like, and they were fine. You know, that's, that's competition. They're used to doing that. They, um, you know, both companies believe in their product. So, and it just gives our Millican residents more choice. So. Well, that's a huge change for what we have. Yeah, we, believe me, for years we tried calling them and I was, I never got a call back. So it was, it was. I don't know what's changed, but anyway. We're, we're growing up. Um, I think a lot of what's changed is they were all very aware of us searching for a broadband company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I got accosted many times by Comcast and I said, sure. And then as soon as they find out where we're at, they 
aren't interested. So. <laughs> um, I was just wondering about aloe. Is phase one and phase two just for Millican or? No, it's just Millican. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're moving forward on our own. I'm continuing. Great. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Well, I would like to just say that grants are very important to our town, and so the 154,000 grant is much appreciated. Thank you to Carrie Reinbarger and John uh, Ravis for your work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Consent agenda is next. On there, we have four different items. It's the uh, town administrator to sign an acoustic sewer line assessment. Uh, contract to install a fence at public works facility, uh, agreement for professional services for on-call engineering services with Tate Associates, and the abatement services. I'll take a motion on the consent agenda. Move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Town clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Meisner? Yes. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Beckman? Yes. Trustee Dean? Yes. Trustee Lane? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. <coughs> Motion carries. Thank you. Okay, on the action agenda, the first item at the request of the RE5J School District, we are continuing the cash in lieu. So I'll take a motion for the continuation. So move. A second. Town Clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Beckman? Yes. Trustee Dean? Yes. Trustee Lane? Yes. Trustee Meisner? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item on the action agenda is for the mayor to sign a construction agreement with Milling Paving and Concrete LLC. John Ravis, Streets and Facilities Director. Thank you. Good evening. Um, during the past winter, three water leaks occurred. The asphalt and concrete had to be removed for the water leaks to be repaired. There, there are 53 linear feet of curb and gutter, 220 square feet of sidewalk, and 1,011 square feet of asphalt patch that needs to be replaced in order to restore the locations. I'm going to be questions from the board. Okay, starting with Trustee Wakeman. So, I'm, I'm sorry, um, is this uh, um, our responsibility, our, our cost? Yes, it is. And um, the, the, these are the leaks that were caused by uh, an outside company, is that correct? Correct. So why is it our cost to... Because we have problems on locating uh, the service lines. Some of the service lines are almost impossible to locate if they're poly, if they're poly pipe, because back in the day, they never did put, install a tracer wire onto poly, and that's the only way you're able to locate a poly line. Were they willing to share the cost of all, or...? You know, um, I, don't, I don't that. believe we asked that question. Do you know, Don? Trustee Lane, do you have any questions? You know, that answers it with, I didn't think about the, like a tracer wire. That makes a lot of sense. I was wondering how you guys did that. So thank you for, mm -hmm. yeah. Trustee Meisner, any questions? How much? Um, the total cost is um, $18,641. Um, okay, thank you. Trustee Beckman, any questions? No questions, thank you. No. Trustee Dean, Mayor Pro. Tem. None. Okay, and we can fit the eighteen thousand dollars into our budget. Yes, there somewhere. Is. Yeah. All right. If there's no further uh, questions, I'll take a motion on the matter. I move to authorize the mayor to sign a construction agreement with Milling Paving and Concrete LLC for asphalt and concrete replacement at various locations throughout the town for eighteen thousand six hundred and forty-one dollars. Oh. 
I second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Are we not approving or what? <laughs> Town clerk, please call for a vote. <laughs> Trustee Beckman. I'll sleep. Uh, Trustee Dean. Yes. Trustee Lane. Yes. Trustee Meisner. Yes. Trustee Wakeman. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich. Yes. Mayor Austin. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. I do have one more question. Um, if that would be okay. Sure. Um, so this is just for the leaks then? Yes. Okay. It's uh, directly over top of the area that had to be repaired. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Next item on the agenda is authorization of the mayor to sign a construction agreement with Coyote Ridge Construction LLC. John Rabus, Streets and Facilities Director. And this is. This is um, for the Cherry Street um, Improvement Project. Um, bid opening was held on March, March 14th, and we received a total of 12 bids. The propo proposed project will generally consist of reconstruction of Cherry Street from North Grace Avenue West to North Josephine Avenue. Site improvements include asphalt paving, concrete paving, box collar, and storm inlet installation. We interviewed Alpine Civil Construction and Coyote Ridge Construction. We scored each interview question based upon their responses. A total of four points separated the total scores. References from both contractors were checked and received, and we received positive responses from both contractors' references. Cardi Ridge Construction provided a construction schedule and, the, and, contract, um, and contacted their pipes pipe supplier for a, um, let me just back up here. Alpine Civil Construction um, contacted their pipe supplier for the box culvert material um, procurement. Alpine Civil wanted a, a signed contract before they would provide a construction schedule. With this information we gathered, we recommend Cardi Ridge Construction for this project. Thank you. Questions from the board, Trustee Beckman. Trustee Dean. Uh, oh. Yes, uh, the uh, total project cost is 1.8 million, is that what I understand? Yes, that is correct. And we budgeted 2.35 million? Correct. And so we're, we, we're coming in under budget. Right, we actually budgeted 1.6, then we received the grant for 750,000. Okay, so, and you'll get to use 100% of the grant. Okay, thank you. Can I add something? Sure. So, excuse me, a couple of the other items that John's gonna talk about is gonna come from that total $2.3 million number. So this piece of the project uh, is 1.8 million, but we have the the engineering and the construction, uh, it's all of those other things. So, so I just didn't want anyone to think that, you know, we have this big pile of money left over. We're going to we're going to spend that on other pieces of this project. Will you spend the entire amount of the budget? I believe it'll come really close. Yes. Okay. Thank you. That's fine. I just yeah. for clarification. Thank you. <laughs> Questions, Trustee Meisner. Uh, no questions. Trustee Lane? No questions. Trustee Wakeman? No questions, thank you. Mayor Pro Tem I have no questions. All mine have been answered, so thank you very yeah. much. I'll take a motion on the matter. I move to authorize the mayor to sign a construction agreement with Coyote Ridge Construction of LLC for the construction of the Cherry Street Improvement Project for $1,809,000. Second. Town Clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Dean? Yes. Trustee Lane? Yes. Trustee Meisner? Yes. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Beckman? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Mayor, if I would, uh, if I could really quick. Yes, please. Um, I think this uh, project will, will be a great um, improvement to that area of town. It's an older section of town. It has currently has no stormwater, and I think um, the residents that live in that area will greatly appreciate that. Maybe not during the project, right. um, 
but greatly appreciate it once it's completed. Yeah. So <laughs> hopefully they can get around the construction and, and everything will be okay. Yeah. We've probably been waiting 40 years for it. Right? At least. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Let's get it done before the next flood, right? Yes. Yeah. So good deal. You're the man of the hour, so I can see you're just going to be standing up there for a while longer. It's the John Ravis show. Yeah. <laughs> Authorization of the mayor to sign a professional service agreement with Tate and Associates for Construction Administration. John Ravis, Streets and Facilities Director. Well, Tate and Associates will supplement the town staff by performing daily inspections and be available anytime for questions arise during the construction. Tate and Associates will assist in submittal review, pay applications, change orders, and, and obtain field as built information for the, for the town records. A Tate's representative will be on site an average of eight hours per week. Okay, questions from the board. Trustee Dean. No questions. Trustee Wakeman. No questions, thank you. Trustee Lane. No questions. Trustee Meisner? No questions. Trustee Beckman? No questions. Mayor Pope, Tim Ehrlich? I have no questions. Okay. During the construction, we will be doing our GIS work, correct? Right? Correct. And logging ah. all of that. Correct. And Tate will assist with that? What was will, that? Will Tate have to assist with that as well? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. That's my only question. So. There's no further questions. I'll take a motion on the matter. Mayor Austin, let me just interrupt for just a second. On this and the next item, I'm going to ask that this be subject to approval by the town attorney as to form. There's a little something in here that I think we need to fix in this contract. Uh, understood. So whoever's making the motion. Okay. I move to authorize the mayor to sign a professional service agreement with Tate & Associates Incorporated for construction administration support for the Cherry Street Improvement Project for $35,500, subject to uh, review by the attorney. I second. Town Clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Lane. Yes. Trustee Meisner. Yes. Trustee Wakeman. Yes. Trustee Beckman. Yes. Trustee Dean? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Last item is authorization of the mayor to sign a professional service agreement with Ground Engineering, John Ravis, Streets and Facilities Director. Well, uh, Ground Engineering will pro um, provide the Cherry Street pavement design on uh, June 25th of um, 2022. Uh, material testing, materials testing services include soil compaction testing, concrete testing, asphalt testing, and associated laboratory testing. Brian and I reviewed the proposals and, and have determined that the ground engineering proposal is the only firm that followed the town schedule for quality control sampling and testing. Okay, questions from the board, starting with Trustee Wakeman. Um, I have no questions. Trustee Lane? I have no questions. Trustee Meisner? No questions. Trustee Dean? No questions. Trustee Beckman? No, no questions. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? No questions. And I have no questions. So, uh, again, we need to amend the motion to include subject to the attorney review. I'll take a motion on the matter. I move to authorize the mayor to sign a professional services agreement with ground engineering for materials testing services for Cherry Street Improvements Project for $17,975, subject to approval of the form by the town attorney. I second. Town clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Meisner? Yes. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Beckman? Yes. Trustee Dean? Yes. Trustee Lane? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Been a long time up there, hon. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you for all your work. Okay, next item on the agenda is an executive session. I'll take a motion. I move to uh, that we enter an executive session pursuant to section 
246402-4E of the Colorado Revised Statutes for the purposes of determining positions relative to matters that may be subject to negotiations, developing strategies for negotiations, and instructing negotiators with respect to the contemplated water yeah, contemplated water court application to change the use of the shares of the Consolidated Hillsborough Ditch Company and section 246402-4B of the Carter's revised statutes for the purpose of receiving legal advice from the town attorney, Mr. Scott Hallwick, or the town water attorney, Mr. Scott Hallwick, on specific legal questions related to the same matter. Second. Town clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Beckman? Trustee Dean? Yes. Trustee Lane? Yes. Trustee Meisner? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. And the meeting will be all board members, Cheryl Powell, Carrie Reinbarger, Scott Holwick, and the town attorney. We will break to clear the room. Okay, now that we're Lights back go. in session, do we have any board member reports? Anything to report on? Okay, our police report is written, I believe. So at this point, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And we're done for the evening. Thank you very much, everyone.